Greetings friends, welcome to the demo of me, Jamak the Red Island Shaver, and today we're getting into Dr. John's Bandit. Yes, 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 yes. Can't wait to get into this one. Uh, it smells amazing. Right up my alley. So uh, let's get the face misted. Let's get into uh, some pre-shave cube action. Let's get this shave rocking and rolling. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're all doing good, having some good shaves, hanging out, doing stuff with the fam jam, enjoying the weekend, and uh, yeah, just generally having good times for all. Going pretty good here, still once again, deep into the music, deep into the blues, just learning and learning and learning, and then some more learning. And then doing some playing and working on some of my own material too. My uh, old bandmate wants to uh, work on one of my songs. Who knows, maybe it'll end up on Apple Music or Spotify or something. So, uh, cause he has the SoCan, he has a membership to SoCan, which is the Songwriters Association of Canada. So uh, we can actually copyright the song and uh, get it out there to the masses maybe. What do you think? Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the soaps. Yes, Dr. John's kindly offered to send along a couple trifectas to the uh, the Canadian Mafia. So I took one, and Lyle the Sask Shaver took another. And uh, this one was right up my alley. This one was speaking to me right off the bat. And it's just got that cool like vibe even on the on the lid. It's kind of got that cool 70s vibe. There is going to be a write-up in the description box down below, right from their website on the soap. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That just screams like visions of Burt Reynolds. Uh you know, as uh <laughs> as the bandit run on the front door for the snowman and Smokey and the bandits. So we're gonna go with the Trotter Handcrafts today. I even have that up side, right side up, there you go. T1 Manchurian Knot, it's a great knot. And we'll get in here and we'll load this up. Scent notes on this are, we get incense, gardenia, thyme, citrus, herb, whiskey, and leather. It smells good. It smells really good. I get a lot of, uh, I do get a lot of the herbaceous notes, the rosemary, the thyme, a little bit of the citrus, maybe a little bit of that whiskey, definitely some of the leather. It just smells like a good old school uh, cologne vibe, is, is, and that's what they were going for. Yeah. Yeah, really good. I can't wait to see how this is going to evolve as I lather it, which it might or it might not. We're going to find out here once we get it on the face, get a little bit of that proto lather. And we will lit it. A little bit of a dent in the tin, but you know what? I don't care about that. Some people, some people have a problem with tins. Me, not so much. Doesn't matter to me what the soap comes in. As long as I can load out of it and I can use it and actually these tins are a uh, an improvement over the older Dr. John's tins. The older tins were really small. Oh yeah, okay. So this is already starting to evolve just even with the first bit of uh, working into the face. That whiskey note is coming out stronger now. I'm getting more of that citrus. It's really brightening up. Oh, that's very nice. Scent strength on this is about, I'd give it about a six. Yeah, six seems fair. It's not super, super strong, but it's not super light either. So just above medium. We'll take you guys along for the full ride today. It's just a DE shave, so the shave itself doesn't take long. So we'll quickly work this face lather in. This is a vegan soap. Oh, Dr. John's is all vegan, and they do have a very nice formula. They are setting out to make one of the best vegan formulas, if not the best, on the market. So, we'll see how it performs. That being said, uh, my previous experience with Dr. John's with an older base is great. It's good soap. I really like it. I really like the scent on it. I have um, 
the hell do I have? Defiance, part of their propaganda series. That was that was actually a really cool series. Almost wish they would would bring that back. It was really really neat. Yeah, we'll just keep working this lather in. I don't think we're gonna get like a super fluffy lather that you get sometimes with uh, with vegan soaps. This one looks like it's gonna be a little bit denser. And I like the sounds of that. I like the looks of that. Hmm. Very nice. Very, very manly scent. And I think we can do one more application of water without breaking the lather here. Just want a little bit more volume build up in this brush. I'm using the jawline right here. That's like my, my secret weapon and face lather. Right in there on the jawline. And that's a suds machine right there. Very nice. Yeah, the herb is coming through with the florals. I do like a manly floral citrusy scent. And that's what we got going on here with the addition of the whiskey and the leather. Oh man, I feel like just jumping in a in a firebird and just hitting the road. You know what I'm saying? Kick her back, come on. All right, well, there we go. That's the lather. That's definitely going to do get into this shave and enjoy the aromatherapy yeah so what's everybody got going on this weekend let me know down below I don't really have anything going on shocker I know <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is just do what I usually do focus more on music of course I'm getting to the point again now where I'm trying to learn so much different stuff all at once it just becomes like a jumbled mess so now I, I saved a bunch of stuff um, and I changed my playlists too. I, I want to mention that uh, I, I was looking at my uh, at my um, analytics one day, and the razor for today is going to be the Yates Precision Rainbow PVD. This is a 921M plate, third use Wizament, um, on three days of growth. So anyway, uh, I was looking at my analytics, and my most played playlist, funny enough, was my country jams playlist. And funny story. My YouTube app is taking up a ton of space on my phone, and part of that is the saved playlists. And that Country Jams playlist was pretty big, so I deleted like a crap ton of videos out of it. <laughs> and then I checked the analytics, and it was like, that's your most viewed playlist. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I kept the playlist. There's still, a f there's still some country stuff, but there's... Uh, there's a bunch of blues stuff in that in there as well because like I said that's kind of where it's kind of where I'm at right now music wise really working on the blues trying to just become a better bluesman better soloist and uh, blues and country damn I hit that rack again the phone's gonna go all shaky uh, blues and country share a lot of the same correlation actually a lot of the same some of the same licks and stuff like that and uh but anyway, so for your viewing pleasure, and if you are a musician or a guitarist and you're looking to learn some blues stuff, there's quite a, I got a few lessons and stuff that are saved in there and stuff on pentatonics and, and stuff like that. So feel free to uh, peruse that section of my YouTube channel as well. It's all there. It's free. And uh, why not spread the love as we get going on with this shave in the second pass. Nice, slick soap. Now I did use the cube. I use the cube for every shave no matter what. So it's not really, I don't think I'm skewing any, I'm not skewing anything because I don't evaluate soaps without the cube and then use the cube kind of a deal. Uh, I'm using it for every shave for every single soap. That's just my routine. So it's not going to, I don't think it's going to unfairly skew the soap and like I said I've used Dr. John's before it's great stuff and I'm really digging this scent this is right in my wheelhouse and I'm looking forward to seeing the aftershave too at the end of the shave because I know Lyle mentioned uh, he really liked the soap 
that he has, oh, forgive me, I forget which one he has. Um, Lyle, if you're watching this, chime in in the comments below. Let the people know which one you have. Uh, it starts with a B as well, I think. Uh, but anyway, um, I digress. Uh, he really liked the soap, and then the aftershave wasn't a. It was, it was like complimentary, and like really, really brought the fragrance to life. And he really, really liked that. So I'm interested to see if. It's going to be kind of the same vibe with this. But that being said, if it was a pure match to the soap, uh, I would be plenty fine with that too. Because this is very nice. Very slick. Skin feels really good. No problem doing a little bit of extra buffing here. I tell you, this skipping a day or two days between shaves really, it really does give me my best shaves. Two days is maybe a little much. Maybe I can, you know, just get by on uh, one day. Just shave, skip a day, shave. But my skin really does like that a lot better than trying to shave every day. Do a little bit of stretching down there to get the skin kind of taut. Just to pop up those last few hairs. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. That's pretty much an all-over BBS at first touch once the skin relaxes. And that should tone down to a really nice BBS. Let's do a very quick rinse. Very quick cold rinse. I just use room temperature water during the shave. Obviously, it's in my mister. Got the brush sitting in a hot scuttle, so I got a warm, warm brush knot, room temperature water, and a cold rinse. And that is the recipe for a perfect shave for me, water-wise. Some people like to do, you know, cold water shaves only, or warm water shaves. Or I kind of like to mix up a little bit of the two. But yeah, that was very nice. Oh, skin feels really good too. That's one of the most important things, right? You want your skin to feel nice and nourished after the shave and we are in full-on nourish mode so let's give this a little shake for good luck bandit aftershave splash oh yeah smells good well what i can smell outside of the alcohol this is an alcohol based splash just let it evaporate a little bit Mm, very nice. Okay, so we got more incense. Definitely more incense, more of that citrus right off the bat. Good healthy hit of citrus. Yeah, it's real good healthy hit of citrus. And that incense, some of that gardenia, so you can still get some of that floral, floral citrus, spice. That's what I'm getting off the aftershave. I really dig that. That's, yeah, that's right in my wheelhouse. And they very kindly sent the trifecta. So, you know, we're getting all of this up in here. So, I don't know, two, four sprays? I don't know. Got to prime it. Whew. Okay, yeah. And yeah, that smells good. Ne oh, okay, that's got more of the whiskey. That's got more of the whiskey in the leather. Okay, that's very interesting. The splash and then the complimentary frag kind of work together to like give you the full picture of the scent. Wow, that's crazy. That's really, really cool. That's really cool. I like that. Anyway, guys, that was the shave. I'm smelling... Fantastic! I'm about ready to go hit the road in my uh, in my uh, Firebird and uh, run the front door for the snowman. So uh, I'm off to do that. Eastbound down, kicker back. Come on! Hopefully everybody has a wonderful weekend. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Let's grow this channel. Let's grow this amazing community, and that'll do it for me. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another, have a great day, and even better shape. Catch you the next one. Peace.